All right, check one, two, here we go. This is a quick demonstration on how all of you can edit together your rotoball clips with the clips of your classmates. So what I want you to do is create a new document in Photoshop. Choose the HDTV 1080p. We'll call it Rotoball Edit. <clears throat> and we'll go ahead and click Create. And then what I'm going to do is load up the Motion workspace. So I'll go to Window, Workspace, Motion. And I have it up, but mine needs to be adjusted. So I'm going to tell it to Reset Motion. That way we'll see the timeline. Okay, we'll create a video timeline. And then we need to start dragging and dropping the video clips that we have. So I'm going to start with my own. Okay, so I'm going to go to File, Place Embedded. And when I look on my desktop, I should have Hatchel Rotoball. So that's fine. I'm going to lead off with my own clip. Good. Leave it there. Okay, it's here on the timeline. I'll zoom it in so you can see a little bit. It converted it to a smart object, but that shouldn't matter. You can see it's playing back all the same. Okay. I'm just going to add a little bit of extra time on the timeline here. At least, well, it won't let me. But once I bring something else in, maybe it will. I'll drag this layer out. Okay, that's working. Just drag out the white background a little further. So I'm going to go on my timeline to the end of my clip. And then I'm going to go to File, Place. And I need to look for any of the other uh, videos that I've downloaded. Now, I haven't downloaded some of them yet, so I'll show you how that's done. I'm going to go to drive and if I look at my drive 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 rotoball animation clip so these are all the ones that people have updated so far I'm gonna go ahead and right click each just tell it to download and they're not terribly large which is great um, in years past the oh did I tell it to make a copy I want to download all right so in years past, the uh, video files would be really, really big, but it looks like the MP4 compression is a good compression to use because the file sizes are really under 10 megabytes, which is fantastic. So the ideal goal is to go ahead and create an edit with at least 12 of your classmates. Um, one student put in an animated GIF. I don't know if that'll work or not, but I'll download it. And we'll give it a try. Okay. Now these all exist in the downloads folder. If I click on one of them and tell it to show in folder down here at the bottom bar, popped up a window on my other monitor, I'll drag it over. So here are the clips. And then I'll go to Photoshop and look in the downloads folder and I can see them there. All right, so maybe next I'll try Beth. So I'll hit place and I'll say yes. So we have clip one, clip two, and we'll go to the end and Maybe this time I'll drag and drop. We did Beth. Let's do this next one. Bring it in. Yep. Okay, another Sid. It looks like there it cuts off a little early. So I'm going to use the scissors and just split his clip. And then I'll throw out that extra copy by hitting delete. All right. At this point, I haven't saved yet. So I'll do save as. I'm going to save it locally on the computer rather than to the cloud because. Um, I don't want it to be unstable, so I'm going to save it onto my desktop. Go to Gumdrops. All right. And then we get to do either another file place or another drag and drop. So we'll drag in Michaels. Hit the check. There we go. All right, so I'm going to scale down the timeline a bit and move it up. I want to extend that background layer just to give myself some more blank canvas. Okay at the end of the timeline. So we'll save. Now we are down to Kelly. So we gotta go to the right section. Good. Nope. Folder. Yep. All right. So drag and drop. Okay, and I'll say yes, although I'm probably gonna resize this one. Uh, no, it's on a white background. Maybe I will resize it. Um, T. Just gonna make the height match. Okay, one, two, and we get to here. We're ready to bring in another one. Svetlana, drag and drop. Say yes. 
Now this one I may try to scale. I may try to scale both of these just so the width fits. Um, we'll have to see. Uh, what else do we have? Oh yes, an animated GIF. We'll see if we can bring that in as well. Drag out to the end. I'll save just to save my work in progress. Control S. All right. Now let's see what happens if we drag in the animated GIF. Does not appear to work. All right, so for that one, I'm going to go ahead and delete that layer. I'm going to take the extra step of opening up the animated GIF. And I'll just do a quick render video. Uh, export render video. And I'll make sure I use the YouTube HD 1080p because that'll match what we have going on. And this one's going to the desktop folder in order to find it where all the others are I'll render it to the downloads folder <clears throat> and then file place embedded mp4 all right check there we go all right so these are all the clips see I need to do a little resizing so I'm going to go to my layers window I just have to find the appropriate layer make sure that's centered good nope I gotta resize myself to control T Whoop, wrong layer Where am I? Oh, top one all right good all right, you can hit control H to hide the guidelines what these are for, they're, they're usually called safe areas. If you were to add credits or subtitles, you would want them in this central box because depending on the size of the television you play this back on, sometimes it will encroach on these outer regions, but we don't have to worry about that for our purposes today. Yep, all right, so we gotta take SIDS, it's roto ball. Just move it down, pop it in place, good, good. All right, now, Kelly's is, let's see, control T. I'll try resizing it to here. Let's see, because I don't want the cat. Eh, I'd rather keep the cat central. Good. All right. Yeah. All right. So that's a good work in progress for right now. I'll save it. And I will do zoom in on my timeline layer a bit I'm gonna be able to see the whole thing from start to finish I'm gonna take layer one or at least take this um, work area bar and drag it back to the end of my last clip and I will save it and then I will export it as a video so, rotoball edit 5-26 render it this time I'm going to go to the desktop. All right, 1080p, perfect. Render it, and we'll be off and running. So then, once you have your edited version all um, rendered out, you can just upload it to Google Drive, and then insert it into your fourth quarter sketchbooks. And that's your last big project for the quarter. So keep up the good work, and I look forward to working with you guys again next year. Have a good summer.